The, uh, today we've got our first patient, he's asleep. He's had a spinal anaesthetic where we put a tiny little needle uh, next to your spinal cord and put some local anaesthesia around it. Uh, that's been done and we've also put the patient asleep for a general anaesthetic as well. The reason we do a spinal is it gives fantastic pain relief. Uh, lasts uh, about four to six hours. And when this patient wakes up, he'll have a pain of about one to two out of 10. And then we'll get him up to the ward and he'll be able to mobilise with very little, uh, very little medications required. So we find that the spinal gives you a fantastic analgesia when you wake up. It also means less bleeding in the operation. And you also have a significantly enhanced recovery up in the ward. You're gonna feel much more alert, you're gonna have less nausea, and you'll be able to mobilise better with our team of physiotherapists. The spinal gives the, uh, gives the surgeon a significantly less bloody feel, so he's got better vision of the tissues and the nerves, so there's less chance of any nerve or tissue damage, and uh, there's less bleeding, so there's less risk of uh, any need of transfusion. So there's significant benefits for having a spinal in orthopedic surgery. The spinal, you give a significantly, uh, significantly lighter general anaesthetic, because you've got no sensation of pain during the operation and that translates to uh, less drugs and significantly less nausea when you wake up. And a lot of people complain about post-operative nausea being the worst problem of an anaesthetic, whereas we can address that and use a spinal for that reason. Mm. If patients are frightened about general anaesthetic, is spinal uh, an alternative? Uh, absolutely, we, uh, we get that question a, a bit and uh, we can give you a, a spinal with very mild sedation if you don't want to have uh, a general anaesthetic. So that's, that can be a good option. Well, the patients under general anaesthetic, a lot of people ask me, is there any chance that I'll be awake under anaesthetic? We monitor the patients. We have, generally have an EEG monitor on, so we know that you're definitely asleep under anaesthetic. So, you, so it's extremely, extremely rare and low because you'll be fully monitored and safe the whole time. So Steve, what, um, what sort of things do you think patients worry about with spinal anaesthetic mainly? A lot of uh, patients worry about the risks of the spinal. So the, what they worry about is is there any chance that um, I can have nerve damage? And the answer is, uh, as with everything in life, there's always, uh, there's always risks and benefits associated with um, having a spinal anaesthetic. Uh, the, um, the benefits are obviously the great pain relief and the ability to do uh, safe surgery. And the, uh, the risks are extremely low. They talk about one in, one in 20,000 uh, for a spinal anaesthetic of risk of nerve and nerve damage. Bit of local in your back, and then we're going to put um, the spinal in, doesn't hurt, and it's really good to do. It's an excellent pain relief, okay? So you'll wake up and you'll be really comfortable, and it really helps us mobilize you this afternoon. Put your shoulder up here, and then we're going to put the So this part is local anaesthetic for the skin. So there's a little bit of local anaesthetic for the skin here, and this numbs it. You are right, mate? You're good. So it's just going to numb the skin for where the spinal goes in. Last one. And it works really quickly. Usually within even just a, a minute or so, the anaesthetic's working pretty well. So you can hear Mark there encouraging to roll forwards. All right, so that's the key here, is to roll forwards a little bit. And it just makes it a little bit easier to be able to place that needle accurately. So this is where you roll forwards. That's it. 
Yeah. You're all right, you're doing well. You might feel a bit of a pain on one side or the other. You might feel which side. On the left. Alright, buddy. Okay. That's fine. You're doing great. That's gonna pass. Okay. You're okay. Try oh, not to clinch. That's a needle into the ligament. We've got a very good patient here who's cooperative. He's advancing a tiny needle forward. Doing really well. You're a title legend. And that's all done. And so that literally, it literally takes 30 seconds to do. Alright, so well done sir, you're going to have really good pain relief when you wake up, you're going to be very comfortable. Thanks for being so cooperative.